morning students today we will study the revision chapters 1 chapters 1 2 first we revise the chapter first first question write in words write in words indian system in indian system indian system you know the place value of indian system first first you read the ones tens hundred then comma thousand ten thousand comma lakh ten lakh comma then crore this is the place place value of these numbers first how to read the number again you listen then ones here you write to ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh then crore now we read first you read ones tens hundred together then thousand and ten thousand together lakh and 10 lakh together then crore then now you read 7 crore 43 lakh 45460 again you read 7 lakh 7 crore 43 lakh 45460 now you write 7 crore 43 43 lakh 45 45000 460 understand you again ones tens hundred then put comma thousand ten thousand comma lakh ten lakh comma crore in indian place value system first three then two two a grouping of places understand this then in international place value system write in international write in words international place international system international system now in international system the grouping is 3 3 first you read ones tens hundred then comma thousand ten thousand hundred thousand then comma million 10 million and 100 million how to read ones tens hundred ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand then 100000 million 10 million 100 million now how to read the first three then three then three 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 grouping the grouping is three three now read first you read this three number together this three together this three together read the number 434 million 308450 434 million 
Understand you again in international place value system. First, one tenth hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million. Now we start expanded form. How to expand the number? Write in expanded form. Write in expanded form. First, you ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Then you write four multiply ten thousand plus. Three multiply thousand plus eight multiply hundred plus five multiply ten plus seven multiply one. That is, we write forty thousand plus three thousand plus eight hundred plus. Fifty plus seven. You write in, in this method. You follow or this method we follow. Okay. Then write in as under four. Now, how? What is the place value and the face value of any digit? Face value. Write. Write the. Face value and place value of any number you two in listen. Write the face value and the place value of two in. Face value of face value of two in the face value of any digit is the number the digit itself the face value of any digit is the digit itself here our digit two what is the face value of two. Two in is what is the face value of two? Is two. Now, what is the face value of three? Three. What is the face value of four? Four. What is the face value of eight? Eight. What is the face value of five? Five. What is the face value of six? Six. Now, the place value. The place value. Of two is the place value of two is how to find the place value? Then the face value multiply which place the this two sit one tens hundred thousand ten thousand. We multiply by ten thousand is equal to twenty thousand. Which place this uh, two sit? Twenty thousand, ten thousand. Two multiply ten thousand is equal to twenty thousand. 
understand the face value and the place value of any digit then now the successor of what is the successor means 1 plus just after then 900 9999 what is the successor of 9999 you add 1 1 plus that is just after what is the answer 0 0 0 0 1 10 thousand successor means just after we get a successor we add 1 to the given number we add 1 to the given number what is the producer of this number we get a producer we subtract 1 from the given number we get a producer we subtract 1 from the given number that is subtract 1 is equal to 9998 the producer and the successor understand you producer means 1 minus successor means 1 add to the given number producer means 1 subtract from to the given number now roman numeral you know the ascending and descending order Ascending means increasing order, smaller to bigger, then descending means bigger to smaller. Now, Roman numerals. There are seven symbols in Roman numbers. I stands for 1, V stands for 5. X stands for 10, L stands for 50, C stands for 100, D stands for 500, then M stands for 1000, then I, X, C and M. This is 1, this is 5, this is 10, this is 50, this is 100 then 500, then 1000. Here, I, X, C, M are repeated three times. How many times repeated? Three times. Therefore, we write three. Then 30, then 300, then 3000. Understand it? I, I, X, C, M are repeated three times. Then V, L and D are never repeated. V, L, D are never repeated. Then now how to write a 40? Then we write a, first we write a L. L means 50. Then we, here right left hand side you write a X. X means 10. Then now our number, we write the left hand side of any, any smaller number that is subtract. Then right hand side we write that is addition. Here, 40 we get X and L. X and L. 90, how to write 90? X and C. Then how to write 400? 400, how to write? B, C and D. How to write 900? C and M. Understand you? Now, add the following number. You know, find the sum.
plus first you arrange in column base first you arrange in column base you write ones tens hundred ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh then you write arrange you start with the in ones place this 5 9 5 8 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 Understand you? Then, now subtract. Nine thousand three hundred forty-five from sixteen thousand seven hundred forty-eight. Which word come here? From come here. Therefore, which number you write first? Uh, this number. Understand? Uh? Again, you write ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. Then you write eight, four, seven, six, one. Here five, four, three, nine. Then you subtract this number. Understand? You start with the right hand side. Then now multiplication by multiplication by ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, and so on. Thirty-seven multiply ten. We multiply by ten. We put one zero from the right hand side of the number. That is, first you multiply thirty seven and one. Thirty seven one ja thirty seven. Then you put one zero. Again four hundred seventy five multiply by hundred. First you multiply four hundred seventy five and one. Then four. Hundred seventy-five one ja four hundred seventy-five. Then how many zero put to you? Two zeros from the right hand side of the given number. Understand to you? Then thousand four hundred seventy-five multiply thousand is equal to first to you four hundred seventy-five multiply one is equal to four hundred seventy-five. How many zero put to three zeros? Then. Divide by divide by ten ten hundred thousand and ten thousand and so on. First five hundred seventy eight divide by ten five hundred seventy eight divide by ten. We divide by ten. How many digit we remove? One digit we remove from the Right hand side of the number. Here, this digit we remove. This is our remainder. This our quotient. Quotient is equal to fifty-seven. Remainder is equal to eight. Then we will divide by hundred. How many digit we remove? Two digit. Our quotient. Now our question change here. We divide by hundred. How many digit we remove? Two digit. One, two. This two we. Quotient is equal to five. Remainder is equal to seventy-eight. Understand you? Then next multiple sign the factors. Right. First five multiples of Five. 
write the first five multiples of five. Then we write five one ja five. Then five two ja ten. Five three ja fifteen. Five four ja twenty. Five five ja twenty five. You write the table of five. In how many times do you write it? Five times. This method then the multiples of five are you write five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five and twenty five. Understand you multiples then factors in Three method. Find the factor session. In three method. In three method. What are the prime numbers? Our number is sixty. What are the prime numbers? The prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-seven, forty-one, forty-three, and so on. In previous class, we also discussed the, all the prime numbers up to hundred. Then now we find the factorization in Three method. First you, first you write. Then first you check this number is divisible by two. Zero, two, four, six, eight come in one place. That number is divisible by two. Therefore, this number divisible by two. Here, how many times? Thirty again be divisible by. Then we. Here fifteen. This number again divisible by two. No, next prime number is three. Here three. How many times gone? Five. When the this side we get the prime number, then you stop. Then our numbers. Then this come this side. This also come here. Then you multiply two into two into three into five. Two two is four. Four three is twelve. Twelve five is sixty. Then you get this number and this answer is same. Then find the LCM. You know the LCM. Find the LCM of. Find the LCM of twelve, twenty-four, and eight. First, you LCM we find together. This is common division method. Which method the common division method? First, you go two, then six. Here twelve, here four. Again, you divide by two. Three, six, two. Again, two go. The table of two comes in three. No, as it is, you write here. Then here, how many times? Three times. Here one. Then which prime number you divide by? Only the prime numbers. Then three, one, one, one. Then LCM is equal to two two ja four, four two ja eight. Eight three ja twenty four two into two into two into three is equal to twenty four. Then find the HCF of find the HCF you follow the prime factorization method. This first you find twelve, then twenty-four, then 
8. Then again the prime numbers 6, again 2 go, 3, then 3, 1. Here 2, 12, then again 2, 6, again 2, 3, again 3, 1. Here 2, 4, again 1. Now you write this. 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. Then 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Then 8 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2. Now you circle the common. This, this 2, <coughs> this 2. Here 3. Here 3, this number, there is no 3 here. Therefore, we don't take. Then this 2, this 2. Here, don't do. Therefore, you don't take. Now, uh, we write. We take 1, 2 in this group. 2 into. Again, we <coughs> take 1, 2 in this group. Our HCF is equal to 4. <coughs> Understand you? Then find the find equivalent first five, first four equivalent fractions. Equivalent fraction of of three by four. Find the first four equivalent fraction of 3 by 4. First you write 3 by 4 multiply 2 by 2. Why you take 2 by 2? That is 3 by 4 multiply 1 by 1. This is the same number come. Therefore you start with 2, 2 by 2. Again our base fraction is 3 by 4 multiply 3 by 3. Again 3 by 4 multiply 4 by 4. Then 3 by 4 multiply 5 by 5. Then multiply this answer. 3 2 ja 6. Then 8, 9. Then 12, 16. Here 15 and 20. Our equivalent fractions are 6 by 8, 9 by 12, 12 by 16 and 15 by 20. You understand this? You practice chapter 1 to 4 for exam. Okay, thank you.